All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So tell me if I sound a little different. I actually got an uh, upgrade to my new mic, so just more spending. Like I said, I'm going to write this off of my taxes because this is getting expensive. You know, I'm not making the the cash of the narrow, the, the big stacks on YouTube. So, yeah, I've, I've probably spent all my YouTube channels worth in just this mic. But uh, hopefully it's better. Hopefully, uh, uh you know, I had a lot of comments saying that it sounds good, but less echoey because uh, the mic is very sensitive and the room I'm in is big. I do not have my own room. I actually uh, sleep in the living room, which is big, and then, you know, sound bounces around. So I actually had to purchase some foam to uh, wrap itself around the mic to make sure that it doesn't, you know, bounce around the room. So hopefully it sounds better. Anyway, welcome back. More card review. You didn't come here to hear about freaking Daniel's mic and all his personal bullshit you came here to get this car review if you want to hear about Dan's personal bullshit you can go to daily Bulls. hello <laughs> anyway uh today we are looking at a interesting spell card that boost pendulum magicians yeah because they totally need more freaking support like uh, i'm actually getting kind of ticked off at that deck i swear to christ but um anyway today we are looking at amazing a pendulum so amazing pendulum is a normal spell card that reads if you control no cards in your pendulum zones Add two face-up Magician Pendulum monsters with different names from your extra deck to your hand. You can only activate one Amazing Pendulum per turn. All right, all right, all right. So pretty much, I'm, at this point, I'm going to say that Pendulum Magicians are just the most stable Pendulum uh, engine that you can run. You know, uh, you know, with, um, they, I mean, they got hit a little bit. They got hit a little bit here in the TCG. They got hit a little bit more in the OCG, and they really should. Uh... Really, it's just Insight Magician. Insight Magician's at one. And uh, everything else, I mean, you're totally good. It's a great engine. It's high consistency. Uh, the pendulum scale effects are good. The generic between one through, you know, one. I mean, you know, one, one through eight, but generally two through eight because uh, you probably won't be having, like, uh, Dragon Pulse in your pendulum scale. More like Dragon Oath, Oath Dragon. So he's two, but still, I mean, that's a great pendulum scale. And... Um, you know, we just see this magician uh, pendulum engine being thrown in with these powerful monsters that would love to be pendulum summoned, and then just seeing some powerful plays, you know? Like, you know, little did we know that, you know, outside of ninjas, Apex Avion would be coming to, you know, smack your booty up, you know, that's power, and, you know, Magispect to Unicorn, throw it in with the magician engine, and wow. But, um, you know, we, we saw a couple of faster decks being played, and, the, the engine kind of fell off, you know, I mean, it's like, why play the Magician engine when you could just play, you know, you know, Pepe and Draco Pals, so it kind of stepped back, and um, in this past list, it actually got hit, despite not being the most popular uh, deck, you know, uh, similar to OCG, Insight Magician went down to one, but the th I mean, thing that's amazing, it's like, alright, Insight Magician's at one, but the one card that you should have hit, you didn't hit, fucking Pendulum Call, man, like, wow, wow, like, you may not realize it, maybe if you don't face the deck that often, but, you know, card, one card's that, one card's, and, and, you know, you're probably saying, like, well, it takes two cards, you gotta play in this card. I'm, I'm talking about typically having this one card, you know? Just for example, like, Twin Twisters is a one card to pop, because it's not like you need two twist, two Twin Twisters to pop two cards, like, you need two MST. You need one Twin Twister, then discard, discard anything, pop two. So, one card, pop two, right? In, in, in a sense. The one card pendulum scales, man, though I mean it's seriously the pendulum mechanic is so powerful that these one card pendulum scales are just such a no no in this game. Like you, you can't have one card pendulum scales at multiples. You cannot. Not in this game. Look at pretty much every single one card pendulum uh uh scale card in Yu in Yu-Gi-Oh. That's pretty much popular. Yeah, where are they at? Exactly, you know? Look at Monkey Board, you know, it's limited at one over here in the TCG banned in the OCG. Look at Scout. It's at one in the TCG. Look at, you know, Pendulum Call in the OCG. It's at one, you know. These cards where you pretty much, this one card, no matter what the cost or whatever, will get you your Pendulum Scale setup are just so powerful because the mechanic is so powerful. And that's one of the things that I guess what you could argue is weaker about the Pendulum Mechanic is you don't have your scale set up. You're not really doing much. But with these one cards that can get you your scales, I mean, that's power, right? So not only on top of just Pendulum Call pitch, get two magicians but of course they cannot be destroyed to the end of your opponent's turn that doesn't help like i, I get it i get it you're in, you're hit to inside sure that's fine but you didn't hit pendulum call tcg like what in the fuck like if they don't hit pendulum call next list i'm just gonna be shaking my head like it's just like why why you hit every other freaking one card pendulum scale but you don't hit pendulum call it's fucking retarded 
We're supposed to be looking at Amazing Pendulum, but I'm trying to, you know, build up to the point where we're going to talk about this. So, of course, magicians, they still have their triple pendulum call. Sure, only one insight, but you have, you know, you have your tri triple dragon pit, triple oath, one insight, triple pendulum call. Uh, Skull Crab at Joker can search your magicians. And there you go, there, there's your magician engine. If you want to, just for Skull Crab to have a little bit more to do, you can throw in, you know, Monkey Board and then like a Odd Eyes Unicorn. 13 cards, throw it in, throw it in, and then you have a great pendulum engine. And, uh, you know, sometimes you'll be struggling against that, you know. Not only do they play the pendulum call, get their pendulum scales, but then would you think, all right, well, when, you know, the pendulum scales are activated, I could just crack them with my twin twister. No, because your shit can't be destroyed to the end of the turn. To the end of your next turn. Yeah, that's fair. So they're going to get off their pendulum summon, and then you can't even pop it during your turn. you got to wait till the next turn. But just in case you think that you're going to go ahead and crack their scales and they're going to be out of pendulum summon, they got this. Amazing pendulum. I control no cards in my pendulum zone. I back to rate Amazing Pendulum. Let me go ahead and target two magicians with different names in my extract, add them back to my hand, and then play them in my pendulum scales again. Yay! It's like, oh my god. Like, I just cracked those scales. You know? Oh, and don't forget about Sky Iris, too. So, because so it's the Sky Iris Pendulum call and Amazing Pendulum. It's like, fuck it. You know what? I'm not touching your scales, which will probably backfire, you know? Because that's one of the easiest ways to go ahead and win against a pendulum based deck is crack their scales. Handle this shit on the field, crack their scales, you know? But it's very difficult to crack their scales when you have Sky Iris and I can't target them and Pendulum Call so I can't, they can't be destroyed to the end of turn and even if I break them, you have Amazing Pendulum to grab their shit back. It's just so fucking stupid. And, and that's the thing, it's like, you could argue that, you know, no, Cleaves are a stronger Pendulum, uh, you know, mechanic engine. No, no, you know, Performing Pals are, you know? But I, I'm not have to give it to Magicians because they have so, they're so flexible and have so much support. That is ridiculous, you know? It's so simple. Like, you just slap on Magicians, you know? Odd Eyes Magicians, Pendulum Magicians, throwing some Apex Avions with some freaking Magic Spectre Unicorns, and go to town on your opponent because you fucking can. They're not touching your Pendulum scale through your Sky Iris, Pendulum Call and Amazing Pendulum, your skills are going to be there, and you're going to be a threat. And with Apex Avion negating shit, Unicorn bouncing and can't detach, it, it's just a power, you know? You could throw the engine in other decks, you know? We've had Ninja Pendulums on Daily Duel, you have Magic Spectre, you know, Magicians, you, 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 you know, you just throw the deck in with the engine in with multiple decks and just go to town because the engine is just so powerful, and you need to clear this up. You can't have these flexible Pendulum uh, engines, you know, uh, you gotta have them be restrictive because if they're too flexible, then it's too freeing and powerful, you know. While Performer Pals and Draco Pals are at least limited to level fours, and while well, that doesn't really help because rank four is the most powerful uh, rank in the game, uh, at least they were limited to that, you know. At least Cleaves were limited to their own cards. When it comes to magicians, there is no limit, you know. You can play whatever you want, you can pendulum summon whatever you want. There's no restrictions, which is really powerful for these broad pendulum scales. This dragon uh, pit at eight, and this dragon pulse at one, and you can pendulum summon all of that. Like, that's pretty powerful. And they have all these support cards. It's just getting a little bit ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm just running. I mean, this card's pretty good. This card's pretty good, you know. Just, it's just like, wow, I... Uh, the the pendulum call ran off. I can finally crack his scales, and you don't have his pendulum scales. I can get back into this duel. Nope, amazing pendulum. Let me get them right back, and then play him again, and then pendulum summon again. It's like, oh my god, you know, it's not it's not even like uh like like an even out in resources because technically it's a plus because the cards are in the extra deck. You don't really count that as resources. It's kind of like a pseudo grave, right? They don't count as resources. What you count as resources is what's on your hand, what's in your what's in your hand, what's on the field, right? You play this card. Target two magicians, you add them to your hand. One, four, two. Play them in your pendulum scales. You can, can consider that what you want. I kind of consider pendulums uh, sort of a neg to your hand resources, but they're not a neg in the resources overall. It's like activating a continual spell or a filled spell. You know? It's one less card that you have in your hand for the resources of your plays, or in this case, pendulum summon, but there's still resources on the field. You know, They're still on the field, therefore, there's still resources. So, you play this, one card, you get two pendulums, that's a plus one. Put them in your pendulum scale. You know? I mean, they could have at least made it so if you control no cards in your pendulum zone, discard a card, add two face up pendulum magician, so you at least use two cards to get back two cards, kind of like with pendulum call. You know, play it, discard, search two, but no. So, magicians, they just more support, they're so powerful, they're so ridiculous, and uh, I'm just getting kind of sick of them, you know? Uh, I'm fine with inside at one, but for the love of Christ, TCG Konami, if you do not put fucking Pendulum Call at one, I will smack you. I will smack you. So, anyway, 
Uh, tell me what you guys think about Amazing Pendulum, Pendulum Magicians, and just the Pendulum mechanic in general. I'm looking forward to uh, having a discussion with you in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Like I said, tell me if the mic sounds a little bit better, a little bit crispier, less, uh, you know, echoey. And uh, hopefully it does, you know, because I throw down some money on this, definitely. And I'll just throw it on my credit card and pay it off eventually. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all, uh, for all the support. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next week with some more card review.